What's up, YouTube? It's Anna from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 44. Today, I'm going to show you how to tune your drums in Logic Pro. Some producers will do this. Some producers will just pick a sample that kind of fits right into the song. But uh, your drums is a instrument, and you want to keep it in key with the rest of your song. So with that said, I'm going to show you how to do that. Right here, I got a G major chord. I kind of played it out so we can match our drums to something. So I got a G major chord. It consists of G, B, and D. So I'm going to go ahead and add a kick drum to it, and I'm going to tune that kick drum to match my chord right here. So I'm going to go ahead and play just so you hear what a G major chord sounds like. All right, so let's go ahead and add in a uh, ultra beat just so we have a little kick drum going on. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in an ultra beat. And I'm going to bring in a drum kit. So I'm going to go drum kits and let's just go uh, hip hop tech kit. Why not? And I'm just going to pick a empty pattern so we don't get messed up. And I'm going to go ahead and type in some steps of the kick just so we have a kick going on. And I'm going to bring that into my arrange window. And we are ready to go to uh, pitch our drums in key with the rest of the song. So I'm going to go ahead and play. This is not in key because while well, it might be, we don't know yet, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and play and we can hear how that sounds. All right, so if you're wondering now, how do I find out what uh, tone that kick drum is at? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Go to inserts. Go to metering. Go to tuner. Go to stereo. I'm going to go ahead and play. Now, this is a guitar tuner. A lot of people just use it for a guitar, but you can use this tuner for many things. Uh, drums, whatever you want. You can use it as a tuner to find out uh, the pitch at what level, whatever you're trying to find out it is at. So with that said, let's go ahead and find out what this kick is at. All right, so this tuner is telling me that it is at E. So this kick is at E, but it's not really a component of the G major chord, which is G, B, and D. So what we want to do is basically pitch this kick to match a component of the G major chord to keep it in key with each other. Now, what we want to do here is that we don't really want to change the sound of the kick drum too much. So we want to find an element of the chord that we can bring the kick drum down to. So basically, if we're at E, G major chord has G, B, and D. So the closest one will be is D. So what we want to do is pitch the kick drum down a tone or two semitones. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Ultra Beat. I'm going to go in the window, go to full view. Now in this pitch section right here, it shows the pitch at C3. Obviously, we just found out that that's not the case. The case is at E. So what we want to do to get it down to D is pitch it down two semitones. So or one full tone. So I'm going to bring it down. So I'm going to bring it down to D sharp. D sharp, D. So now we're at D. I'm going to go edit play, open up my tuner so you can see we're at D now. And now our drums is in key with the G major chord. All right, so I just want to go ahead one step further just to show you what something out of key sounds like and what something in key sounds like. So I went to something drastic and I put the out of key to F sharp and my in key is at D. So just so just listen to the difference in the sound and you could kind of hear that one kind of sticks together more with the track. So here we go. All right, that kick might be a little bit low, so I might want to just brighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to bring it up to G, the root core, uh, the root uh, key in the G major chord. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, tune this up to G. So I'm going to just bring this up. So right now I'm at uh, D, so D sharp, E, E sharp, F, F sharp, uh, G. That should be a G right now. So I'm going to go ahead and play. It's at G sharp. So that's the thing you got to find out because sometimes your mouse goes a little bit too much. I'm just going to bring that back down one. And now we are at G. So this is out of key. And key. Out of key. And key. Right, 
yeah. so right there you could hear the difference of something that out of key sounds like something in key sounds like it does it's not a huge difference but it does sound a little bit more tighter so with that said if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section as usual more good videos always coming some always coming soon so remember to rate and subscribe guys i'll talk to you soon later